Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Viking Wizard here. I've got another video on my latest haul. So I've got like um, one, two, four CDs and two vinyls to show you. I can't wait to actually show you these, get into them. <coughs> um, hope you're all having a good weekend. I've literally had my gaming chair, which is over there and I've just had it turn up, which I'm super happy, green, one of them ergonomics gaming chairs because I thought I needed it for my gaming but some stuff to show you which I can't wait to get into so the first thing I'm actually going to show you is Infinity which is this is from the Canadian singer slash songwriter Devin Townsend born way back in 1972 this one is the third studio album this one was released way back in 1998 and it's the it says the 25th anniversary edition so it says limited two CD digital about the 25th fifth anniversary edition of this landmark solo album newly remastered including seven bonus tracks as well as brand new liner notes liner notes and cover artwork which is cool i don't have the i believe i don't have the original so that's cool to get that with the extra tracks so i'm excited to give that one um the extra tracks a listen then this next one i was yesterday i went up town with a um the guy that used to love flat share with my friend so we went up town and when i went round he told me there was um a parcel here for you which i didn't realize that um something was turning up at that address because i changed all my addresses to this one so i wasn't sure but a cd turned up and when i opened the packaging and i opened it up it was two copies of the same cd so i'm not sure why two copies were sent i just thought that was a bit strange but um nevertheless i'm um, they're called Medan again, and this one's Catharsis. So they're a um, Greek Gothic slash symphonic metal band formed in 2005. This one's the fourth studio album, their current one, which was released way back in 2018. I've not actually heard um, nothing about it, forgotten nothing new release or anything like that. So I need to do a bit of research. But these came up on my Power Symphonic group. And somebody um, recommended this band, but as you can see, two copies turned up, which I thought was a bit strange. So I'm gifting one to my good friend from Texas. I thought I'll pass it on to him so we can give them a listen and see what actually he thinks of them. But I'm um, a bit strange, two copies. I've looked at my order to see if, like, ages ago when I ordered it, to see if I actually ordered two, but it was just one copy. So I'm not sure if it's because it took that long to turn up that they gave me two copies or something like that but I'll pass it another one copy on to a good friend and he'll add that one to his collection but I do want to get more of their stuff so I want to get their first free studio on so we'll be on the hunt for them so I'm just super happy to get the one in my collection this next one is Knocking at Heaven's Gate live in Tokyo 2023 which is um, from the Japanese power metal band Love Bites if you're a fan of um, Dragon Force you're absolutely going to love these because they're like the Japanese version of Dragon Force. Such an incredible band. Formed way back in 2016. This is their fourth live release, which has just been released. And as I was looking on Wikipedia because I was looking for notes and stuff, it says <coughs> the fifth live release, which is um, it just says part two, knocking on Heaven's Gate part two is going to be released in December. So I'm not sure if it's the um, second part of this gig or if they're played another show and they're releasing two shows or something like that so i'm really not sure but um there's the track listing which seems to be a full gig so <coughs> i'm curious oh pardon me i'm curious is that going to be a second gig or if it's going to be just a second disc for this gig or something like that i'm really not sure so i'm eager to get into that and have a look at that one there we have some swedish power metal power metal with chapter i believe that's chapter eight Formed right back in 1998. This is the, I believe this is their eighth studio album, Axe and Star. Absolutely fantastic band. I've got like three of their studio albums. I do want to get the rest of their stuff and add them to my collection. But um, this one came up for pre-order and I thought I'm definitely going to pre-order this and give it a listen. I've not listened to nothing off this album yet. I've gone in completely blind with this. Same as that um, thingy because that band, Meaden again, Meaden Egan. They came up on obviously my group on Facebook and then um, I think I listened to like one song but um, I'm not sure if it was from that album so effectively I'm probably going to be going in blind with that studio album same as this one so I can't wait to listen to it. Super excited. 
I didn't want to ruin the album by listening to like one or two songs before it came out because I did come up on my group and I thought no I'm going to wait until this album's released and then I'll give it a full listen then we move on to the vinyl I've got two vinyl to show you this one is a seven inch vinyl which is it just said limited edition deluxe gatefold seven inch single with comic book centerfold when this actually came up on Amazon for pre-order <coughs> I've seen it I pre-ordered it like a shot and it just says seven inch CD single, which I thought, okay, then make your mind up. And then when I looked at the um thingy, the format, it said vinyl. So I wasn't sure, was it a CD single or vinyl or something like that? Um, I don't need to know introduction because anybody, you know, if you're a Maiden fan, you're obviously going to know who this is. And anybody who's like the rock and metal, you're going to know who this is. But this is Afterglow of Ragnarok. And the side two is If Eternity Should Fail demo, which is cool. And this is the one and only Bruce Dickinson. So if you're a Maiden fan, you obviously know who Bruce Dickinson is. But 99.9% .9 of rockers and metalheads know Bruce Dickinson. Which is cool. So as you can see with the new track, it's off his upcoming studio album, which I can't wait. <coughs> and I genuinely am not sure. Because um, it went straight out of my head. I wasn't sure what the album title is but um when it comes on amazon for pre-order i'm certainly going to be definitely pre-ordering that and i didn't want to make a collection i've actually pre-ordered like um several more stuff because i know the new dragon force is coming out and then there's a load of bands that are releasing some new stuff so i certainly um pre-ordered them so we have one more vinyl to show you and i can't wait this is my first vinyl to my collection of this band because I've got nothing on vinyl and I wanted to get their stuff. I've got the entire back catalogue and CD. <coughs> I've seen them four times. I actually met the vocalist, Max Cavalera, so that gives it away because I was outside the venue at the Slade Rooms in Wolverhampton and he was um going in the door and I seen him and said hi, he said hi and I said, Oh you're absolutely awesome. So I had a little chat and they're, this is his band, US metal band, formed by back in 1997. They do have a mixture of like groove, thrash, death, new. They've got like um, a mixture of everything in their music because they've gone into different styles. But um, he left Sepultura way back in 1996. This one was released in the year 2000, I believe it was, yeah, 2000, which is their second studio album. And this one is the one and only Soulfly Primitive, so I can't wait to listen to the vinyl version. I've got the CD version, I've got the two CD with all the extras, I've got the whatever editions, I've got them all, but I've never got any of their stuff on file and I wanted it, so I'm super happy to get this. So this one, happy to grab this one and add it to my collection. I will be looking for more of the software stuff on vinyl because I believe I don't have nothing on vinyl, but knowing me, I've probably looked, I know I haven't got this one, so knowing me, I look for my vinyl collection. I've got the Max Cavalera, the entire Sepultura era of Max Cavalera, because I bought the box set, which is on my YouTube channel. Um, for um, I did an unboxing video. If you want to check that box set out somewhere on my YouTube channel, but I'm just happy that I've um, got this one to add to my collection, and I can't wait to get into it. I want to see these again because I know I've seen them like four or five times, and they're incredible live. The last time I seen them was Bloodstock Open Air. Just before they came on, it hammered it down and I was soaked through. But by the end of the Soulfly set list, I was bone dry with the sun because it dried me up, which was awesome. But um, most people disappeared and went into the tent and said they weren't going to see him purely because it's the rain, frightening the rain. But I sat through it and absolutely incredible man. He's a legend, Max Cavalera. I'm actually halfway through his autobiography, so I'm reading that one at the moment. So yeah, that has been my latest haul. A vinyl slash CD. Hope you all enjoyed that. I will be unboxing every one of these other than um obviously the two albums, the two Mead and Egan. So then two I'm just gonna be unboxing one and one of them's gone to my good friend in Texas. So I'll be um posting that to him so we can check them out and add it to his collection because I know he enjoy it because he loves his power slash symphonic metal like me. So I hope you all enjoyed this latest haul video. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. So Viking Woods is signing off and have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be an unboxing video of one of them. So take care and have a good one. See you later. Cool.